Hey everyone, how's it going? Just wanted to go over my latest comic book haul with you guys. Uh, most of the books I'm going to be showing you were picked up either on eBay or my local comic shop. Uh, also, I want to touch on some other books that I've been purchasing for about the last six months. Uh, I'll go over briefly exactly what happened, but let's start with this book here. Uh, this is Daredevil number 176, first appearance of Stick. Uh, really excited to see how the Daredevil series on Netflix comes out. Uh, Previews look really good. Uh, last preview I was watching, they show briefly an appearance of Stick. Uh, being this is the first appearance, it's still relatively cheap, but a uh, good book to speculate on. Uh, if I were you, I'd pick it up uh, before it starts to rise up in price. Next book I picked up was uh, Dead Devil 181. What can you say about this issue? Death of Electra, double sized issue, Frank Miller, Bullseye, Electra, Dead Devil. I mean, it, it has it all book is really nice uh has a little bit of an overhang if you see over here but other than that i mean there was no spine ticks on it. it it was just really looked nice i was very happy with the condition of this book uh you know i've had some ebay purchases that i haven't lived up to what they've said but this one truly did now let me show you the next book uh batman 570 uh this book is the first appearance of harley quinn in a batman storyline Although she appears in Batman Adventures number 12, this is the first time that she's in uh, Batman continuity. Uh, again, early uh, Harley Quinn appearance, and we all know how hot her books are. And uh, relatively cheap, so uh, if you get a chance to pick something, you know, this book up, take a look at it. And the last one I picked up off of eBay was uh, Amazing Spider-Man 97. Let me just show you this book, because, I mean, this book is really, really nice. I was pleased with this one. Um, has a little overspray on the top, if you see, but other than that, I mean, the corners are crisp and everything else. Uh, this is the first time that Marvel uh, went against the comic code and did not put the comic code stamp on it. Uh, it's the Harry Osborn drug issue. Uh, kind of trend setting or groundbreaking at, it, at its time. At that time, you know, comic code was uh, relegating everybody not to be able to uh, print certain types of storylines or depict certain types of graphics. And, uh, Marvel felt that this story was strong enough that they had to uh, go against the system. Uh, really, really a uh, groundbreaking book. A couple of other uh, online purchases. I got the uh, Silk Number no. Two Phantom Variant. Uh, you know, the homage, homage to uh, Amazing Spider-Man 300. The Spider Gwen Number no. Two Midtown Comics Variant. I just truly like the cover. I'm a big uh, cover guy if it appeals to me I'm gonna pick it up I had to pick this one up I already have the black and white version but uh colors on this really pop it's the Phantom Spider Gwen number one uh, tribute to Spider-Man 300 another nice nice book uh, it's a book that I just a little speculating on this uh, anybody who's been reading this uh, will know the storyline but uh Walking Dead 138 first appearance of Alpha you know, these first appearances for The Walking Dead seem to just keep on increasing and increasing, especially with the show's popularity. Uh, you know, the appearance of Negan just went through the roof. And, you know, these books just keep taking off. So if you get the chance to pick them up, take a look at them. Next book, uh, and I picked up two copies of this. Yeah, it's the new Batgirl issue. It, they've been doing the um, movie poster cover tributes and... Uh, this is a tribute to uh, Princess Purple Rain. Just thought it was really nice. I, I liked it a lot, so I uh, picked this up when I could. Um, next few books I'm going to show you. Um, I'll just go over them with you. Uh, I was I attended a uh, yard sale. I answered an ad to a yard sale in my local neighborhood. And uh, upon conversating with the uh, person doing the yard sale, uh, found out that he had... I mean, so much stuff, it's not even funny. He's been collecting for over 40 to 50 years, and, uh, you know, I've been purchasing books for him for the last six months, and his stuff is maintained very well. Most of his stuff is very fine or, or, or better. So, uh, the book I want to show you is Power Man and Iron Fist number 50. It's the first time that Power Man and Iron Fist are together on a title. Uh, this is also, Netflix is going to have a, a Power Man series, a Luke Cage series, and an Iron Fist series. I mean... Speculation you might see Misty Knight in there and, and some other good characters. So it's all going to tie into what, what they're going to consider the Defenders. So nice book to pick up.
Uh, the other one I picked up was Power Man number 48. And this is the first appearance of Iron Fist in Power Man storyline. Uh, another good book. You know, John Byrne and uh, Chris Claremont's run on Iron Fist was one of my favorite. So, uh, just nice books to pick up and read. Uh, next book is uh, Avengers 53. It's Avengers vs. the X-Men. As I told you in the last uh, series, I'm a big Avengers fan. And I'm a big, big, big X-Men fan. So, couldn't pass up on this. I grade this probably a, a fine. It's got a little... It appears to be a dirt stain. I checked the inside. It didn't look like water. A little bit of browning on the bottom. Staple right here. There's a little bit of... Staple's not loose, but it's got a little rip to it. So, possibly a fine at, at its best, but... I'll take it any day. It's just, you know, beautiful book. The other one I got here is Avengers 58. Uh, it's when the Vision becomes a member of the Avengers. Again, nice book. A little staining on the top, but other than that, it's good quality. You know, these white covers for books this old are hard to maintain. But I'm happy with the book. I also picked up this one here, and that's Avengers 87. It's the origin of uh, the Black Panther. I mean, they all work on this stuff. This book really, really presents really well. You know, mid 60s to early 70s. And, you know, again, they, they for some reason keep finding that they love those yellow covers. I guess the colors just present well on it. Uh, another book that I was looking for, and, and he happened to have, I, I usually give this man a list, and uh, he's very accommodating with me. Uh, was King Size of Annual Avengers number 10. And it's the first appearance of Rogue. Um, this book looked really good. Again, probably a very fine, very fine plus. Uh, you know, very happy with it. And I found one of my favorites uh, X Men 120. Uh, this is the first appearance of Alpha Flight. I mean, for a dark cover, as you can see, there are no spine ticks on this book at all. I mean, this book looks really, really crisp. It was probably read once and put right back into its bag and board. You know, so, I mean, extremely happy. You know, uh, getting it below cost, so you know, he, he does the right thing by me. I'm so happy to found this guy. Uh, I was able to get a copy of Nova, and actually, two copies of Nova number one. Both of them are about very fine condition. Uh, just you know, I grew up on this stuff with Rich Rider, and you know, it's becoming hot. There was you know, big speculation that Nova Nova was going to be in the next Avengers movie, but uh, and the Guardians of the Galaxy stuff, but hasn't come to fruition at this point. I mean, we saw the Nova Corps, but we haven't seen Nova as a, as a whole himself. Uh, let me just move these. DC presents number. 47. It's the first appearance of uh, He-Man in DC books. Uh, this book's starting to pick up a little steam right now. Uh, it's allegedly a He-Man movie that's going to be coming out. There were some shots of uh, He-Man's uh, tiger. I'm drawing a blank right now, but there, there were shots of it and it actually looked really good. So, nice book. Again, the very fine range around there. Um, just a really nice book. Also, was able to pick this up from him. And this is uh, DC Comics present number 26. And this is the first uh, time that the new Teen Titans are appear in the storyline. It's a 16-page story, that mini story that's inside the book. Again, look at this book. This book is really, really nice. I mean, I, I loved it when I saw it. I was so happy. Yeah. I had to, had to, had to grab this. Another book that I had to pick up there was, as I was talking about before, Iron Fist 15. Um, memory serves me correct, this is one of the earliest, if not the first time, that uh, John Byrne and Claremont worked on the X-Men together. This, uh, I believe this book predates their first run on X-Men by about two months. So, classic. It's also the last issue of Iron Fist. So, uh, couldn't pass it up. Just, just a great book. Um, also, picked up this key right here. Daredevil 158. And this is where Frank Miller starts his uh, story arc in the Daredevil storyline. And, and as we all know, I mean, what a story arc he, he created. Just great writing. This book, again, look at this. Just crisp. Just a really, really nice book.
can't complain. Uh, next book I'm going to show you, uh, The Spotlight on the Moon Knight, number 28. Uh, this is, I believe, the first uh, solo story by Moonlight. Moon Knight's character that's been picking up a lot of steam. I, you know, I mean, just a good character, and uh, a lot of people are uh, waiting on this book, and you know, it's, it's growing in popularity. Another Marvel Spotlight, Marvel Spotlight 32, uh, Spider Woman. With the popularity of all the female characters now, it's only a matter of time before Spider Woman really, really takes off again. So, uh, very happy to get this again. Very fine condition. These books are really, really nice. Uh, let me show you this book here right now. I was really happy he had this here. Tales of the Teen Titans, number 44. Uh, for those of you who don't know, it's the first appearance of Dick Grayson as Nightwing. And, I mean, Dick Grayson's been around forever. This is the first time that he got away from the Robin character and actually, you know, started leading the path down to adulthood. But look at this book. I, I, I mean... I don't see anything, and I'll have to really go through it again, but I, probably a near mint. I'm probably going to have this book pressed out and sent over to CGC to get it graded. And then I had to pick this up, and that's uh, New Teen Titans number one. Just a really nice book. Uh, you know, Kid Flash, Wally West, one of my favorites when I was growing up. You know, Cyborg's going to be in the uh, new... Um, Justice League movie possibly, Wonder Girl, you know, Raven, just just nice stuff, keep changeling in there. Uh, another one here, Marvel premiere number 48, the second appearance of Scott Lang as Ant-Man, uh, another very fine book, really, really nice. Once again, I don't know what it is, but there we go, another yellow cover. Strange Tales. Number 178. Um, this is the first, I believe, the first story arc that uh, Adam Warlock has his own story going uh, solo st stuff. Uh, as we all know, 180 is the first Gamora in this storyline. Unfortunately, I was unable to get that one. But I was happy to pick this up. Real nice book. Uh, artwork is great. It just looks good. Now, this, this is one of my favorites from when I was growing up. And that was the Invaders. So I was really stoked when I saw him that he had this uh, available after I asked him for it. This is the giant size of Invaders. Um, you know, tales of uh, Captain America and Bucky, Toro, the Human Torch, and the Submariner during the World War II era. Uh, just, I, I love this stuff. This was really, really good stuff. And, you know, I was happy to pick this up. Um, and the last book I want to show you is uh, Marvel Premiere number 15. Uh, it's the first appearance of Iron Fist. Um, this book here, I mean, I, I've been looking for this for a long time in, in a good condition. I'd rate this probably a fine. Uh, if you see, let me just show you here a little bit. If you go up to the top there, you're going to see that there are some creasing up to the top right-hand corner. There's a little, maybe a one-eighth of an inch, not even tear right up there. So, you know, other than that, though, book looks really nice uh, I'm happy with it so uh, as I continue because I'm still buying stuff from this gentleman you know uh, he, he's a real good guy he treats me right so uh, as I continue picking up stuff if you know if you want to see it just let me know and I'll keep posting the stuff as I get come along with it uh, until then uh, as soon as I pick make you know get some more books I have some more stuff that I've ordered on eBay that's waiting and I have a couple of places that I have to take a look at and visit. Um, I'll post my stuff up hopefully within the next two or three weeks, all right? All right, guys. Thanks for viewing. Take care.